So, my expectations were subverted. I gotta say, the current writers, they still have skill. And to shocking me, that I can actually cringe far more than what I believe is humanly possible. Because all of us have a cringe limiter. You know, it's like One Punch Man. Like, like you, you get a limit to how strong you can become, but you can, like, break that limit and become One Punch Man. I think, like, it's kind of like that, but for cringe. Like, in my situation, like, most human beings have a limit to how much they cringe. But, but like, this broke my limiter. So, uh, let, let's see what it's about. I can't play all of it, but I, I can play a little bit due to copyright. And you know nothing. It's a shame you're not a woman anymore. Because you'd have understood. So, they literally brought back the actor Davis Tennant in order to humiliate him. And, and to say that he knows nothing because he's not a woman. He's a man presenting doctor. This is exactly how they, they refer to it, right? Um, and then they say, like, he's got so much power, and all he has to do is, is let it go. And, th and then we're treated to this beautiful scene right here. Um, wow, j j just wow. Like, I I'm not even offended. Like, that's the thing. Um, and I suppose that the opposite of love is not hate. It's indifference. A and I can be so indifferent towards the show, you have no idea. Like, from my perspective, it's as if the show got canceled. And stopped existing. However, every now and then I have a subscriber. And they're showing me a clip. And, and I'm like, how do people still watch this? Like, do, do you enjoy cringing so much? Do, does the actor David Tennant literally have no self-esteem? Like, like, in the beginning they started by saying that they want equality, right? So, so they, they started taking the roles... That, that were established by men. Um, and, and then they start removing stuff that men like to see. So so men like to see violence and tits. And they removed that as well. You know, they, they replaced it with like the most mid-looking women over the age of 28, most of them. Um, no sex appeal whatsoever. No sensuality. Uh, and, and they removed the violence as well. Like, like most of the stuff is just people talking. It's, it's almost like telenovelas. And I know, like, Doctor Who was a little bit like that, but I'm talking about almost every single TV show, not just Doctor Who. Like, I'm broadening my horizons now. And now that they've done that, they're thinking, like, how can we spite the men? Like, when I see this, I know that the writers genuinely hate their male audience. Like, it must show. I do not know what is their issue, like, Perhaps if we can have the time machine and bring back Sigmund Freud, they can find out that the writers had some daddy issues or something. Like, I genuinely want to know, like, like what men in their life did to them in order for them to write like this. And then I want to uh, understand why can't, can't the BBC hire some people that did not suffer trauma? Because you can find human beings, okay, that are healthy without having to break into the mental asylum to, to hire writers... That, that pour their hatred and their bile into the show. I mean, the writing is so fucking cringe. Even, even the fact that the doctor doesn't have a reply. This, this is what bothers me, right? It's not the fact that you're not allowed to write misogynistic characters or, or misandrist characters or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm not against that. But surely the doctor would have some sort of response to it. You know, like, no person, like, if you go on the streets... And you take the average guy and you put him in this situation where two elderly women are mocking him. He would have some sort of a comeback. Like in this situation, he could say, yes, I have all the power and I can't give it away because I needed to save innocents or I needed to save planets or, or something like that. Because that's the, the mentality that I grew up in the 90s and, and all the other men my age grew up with it. It was, you need to gather a lot of power. You need to become really strong so that you can protect the weak. You know, kind of like the way you see in this show, you, you have like these two ladies that are acting smug with an army of men with guns sitting behind them, right? L like like th this was the ideal that you had to become. It's like you need to become strong so you can defend others. Um, and it's interesting because you still have like that remnant. Like it, it still shows... 
But the modern morality that is being pushed through these movies is that, no, like, as a man, you need to let go of your power. You need to become weak, obedient, and, and just listen to your betters. And, and all of this is based on gender, which, by the way, doesn't exist because it's interchangeable. But but if you choose to be a man-presenting doctor, uh, then you, you get to, uh, to know nothing and, and you need to know your place. And you need to give away your power. And by the way, like, apparently they have another episode where... The doctor was being shamed for not asking a giant Furby what its pronouns are. Like, like this is the level of writing that we're talking about. Um, I don't know, like, how do they expect to sell s toys anymore? Right, like, do they, do they even try to make a profit at this point? I, I mean, it's from the BBC, isn't it? Because I, I see the BBC here. They're the ones producing it. You, you can only produce this shit by stealing money from people. Like, literally, putting the BBC license. That is theft. I, I, I have to say, I, I know that British people may disagree. Look, you as a society decided that it's okay for a television station to steal money from people. Okay, that is your mentality, British people. I, I, I don't know why you did it. I don't know how long you're going to put up with it. But, but because of that, you get Doctor Who. Because there is no way that this would survive on Netflix for more than two seasons. There, there is no way that this would survive on Amazon. For more than two seasons. I cannot believe that this is profitable. I have seen people on Twitter. Which had an entire room. Filled with Doctor Who paraphernalia. Like probably $5,000 worth of Doctor Who merchandise. Like really hardcore loyal fans. And they were basically saying that they're not watching another episode of Doctor Who anymore. And I don't blame them. You know like, like when the fan. Well, sorry when the writers are treating the character like a VTuber. Where they just pour their toxicity and malice towards the audience. Why would the audience put up with that? And it's quite hilarious because you have like someone that, that has been a fan for Doctor Who for so long. And they're coming out and saying they're not watching this. And, and like the snarky quote unquote tourists are, oh my god, oh you're such a misogynist. You can't just handle because they have a woman in it. And I was like, no, the problem isn't that they have a woman in it. The problem is like how the the... The writers are treating these characters. And it's so obvious that, that they are doing it with a level of malice that, you know, it's not even directed at the people that hurt them. Like, that's the problem. You know, if you have some issues with your father or your husband or an ex-boyfriend, like, take it with them. Why are you taking it with the people that are supposed to put food on your table? But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. And uh, now I'm going to go and play some Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, take care.